Hi, I'm Katrina, your Pilates teacher at KM Pilates. Welcome to Get Started with Pilates, your 31 day journey towards a daily Pilates practice. Today is day nine, so let's begin. Today we start in all fours, so if it feels better, give the wrists a bit of a twirl, just to prepare them a bit. And if at any point it gets a bit too much for your wrist, you know, come back out of it, give the wrist a twirl, have a bit of a stretch, and then come back to join us. So we want to have the hands underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips. And then we start with our cat stretch. So you round the back and gently out. Breathe out to round. And breathe in to look up, shoulders away from the ears. One more. And then find your neutral spine and pelvis. Yeah. Push up in between the shoulder blades, keep the neck supported. And as always, if your knees aren't so happy, you know, have something soft under the knees, like a blanket or a cushion, or maybe see if your knees are happier with the toes tucked under. Yeah. So, from here, we then go into our lateral arm raises. So you breathe in to prepare. With that, take one arm to the side. Breathe and find the same handprint under the shoulder. Breathe out to lift the other arm. But keep the connection of that space in between your shoulder blades so we don't let the body sink down towards the floor. We focus on the supporting arm and shoulder. Keep the neck also supported. So here, if you can see your knees, your neck is not in neutral. That's sort of a giveaway on that one. Draw the navel up a little bit. So if you find you're leaning a lot into the opposite knee, you just need maybe to center a little bit more, draw the navel up gently, just as much as you need to. Breathe out to lift, in to lower. Last one of these, even out to right and left. Good, and then maybe again, just give the wrist a twirl, a bit of taking a weight off the wrists every now and then in between. We then go into leg extensions, so basically, this time keeping our weight evenly on our right hand and left hand, and then we extend the leg away. So as we do this, we just want to make sure we can extend the leg fully without the mat getting in the way. So I would move forwards a bit. And as always, if you're on a carpet, obviously you might not actually need to worry about that so much. So find your neutral spine and pelvis again. Keep pushing up in between the shoulder blades and the neck supported and then breathe in as you slide the leg away and then out as you turn. Breathing in and out. Draw the navel up a bit, make sure not to lean in that, into that supporting knee. Keep your weight quite evenly on your hands and that supporting knee. Slide away. So we're not actually um, lifting away from the floor just yet. We will in a moment. But this one is really just to let the knee slide back into that same hip width position. Because as always, it's much more stable to come into the middle. And we just want to make sure that doesn't happen. 
good. One more. Fabulous. We then breathe in and out. And in and out. And again, if and out, breathe. So for these lifts, we keep them quite small and we want to avoid to let the back collapse. So we want to keep that nice length of the spine and much more reaching the leg back behind us than thinking up to the ceiling. Yeah. So it's much more lengthening away and then we turn back to neutral. Good, last few. Again, ideally we even out right and left. If that doesn't always happen, it's not the end of the world. Good, and then again, either just come into kneeling if there is a troll, any other comfortable sitting position, or come back into child's pose maybe, if that feels comfy for a moment. Good. We will then go into box press-ups. So it's sort of the first version of a press-up. So if you haven't done any press-ups in quite some time, this is a good one to start with. Now, if you're used to doing press-ups and you're happy to do a more challenging version, feel free to do that instead. But today I will just demonstrate the box press-up and we'll do 10 repetitions. Yeah. So for these, we'll come back into all fours. And then we literally just take the arms out to the side. So again, if you have a mat, just outside the mat. If you don't have a mat, just a bit wider than shoulder width. And you can see what's more comfortable for your wrists, having the fingertips point forwards, or maybe a little bit diagonally. So it's more the thumbs that point forwards. But try not to have the hands all the way out to the sides. That might be a bit too much. But you just want to make sure that your shoulders are in line with your wrists or your hands. And then here we keep the spine long, breathe in on the way down, and out on the way up. Yeah? Now that's two. As you push yourself up, you want to draw the navel in. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, excellent. Give us another tool, maybe take the hands back, send the heart forward, take a nice deep breath in and out. Good. And then from here we come onto our front, into prone. And we're just going to go into another back extension variation. So remember here we want to have something a little bit higher, just under the forehead to make space for the nose. We have the feet as wide as the mat, if you have a mat, or just a bit wider, if not. And then you rest the forehead onto the um, cushion, but the arms are by your sides, palms up. We lift the body up and rotate the arms at the same time, and then lower back down, relax completely. Breathe in to lift, and out to lower. You reach the fingertips towards the toes, keep the neck long. Feet stay on the floor. A 
Last few of these. One more. Good. We then bring the feet hip width again. And here you can have the uh, forehead resting on your hands if you prefer. I will just be propped up a bit to talk you through the exercise, but please, um, once you know what we're doing, have your head relaxed down. Yeah. Good. So we go into legless, we've done this before, where you breathe in to prepare and then breathe out to lengthen the leg away to lift the leg up. Yeah, again, don't think up to the ceiling, but lengthen away, keeping the spine as neutral as possible. Draw the navel in a bit. Remember to try and keep the shoulders relaxed. This is really tricky. Let's see if you can switch the shoulders off. One more of these. And then you can either continue with those or we go into a variation where both legs lift up and then we move a bit faster. So you breathe in for a few and out for a few. Keep the navel drawn up, keep the shoulders relaxed if at all possible. And then we really lengthen away. So we're not kicking through the knees. <laughs> really focus on the hamstrings and the glutes. So sort of imagine to lift the thighs away from the floor. One more breath. Good. And then release. Just relax the lower back. Yeah, so sort of release the lower back here. Fabulous. Then you want to use your arms and your center, so draw the navel up to push yourself away from the floor. <laughs> and then come into child's pose. So feet together, knees either together or slightly apart. And relax here. So in child's pose, you want to relax the abs and relax the shoulders down. Breathe deeply into your belly, into your back. And then gently roll the spine up into sitting. Maybe help with the hands if need be. And we're done.